all right what's up with y'all so look i had just got done editing this video right and some more information has came out about the whole p diddy situation so everything that y'all about to see after this clip was a couple of hours ago it's just some footage of certain things that was taking place earlier today but basically long story short they are saying that p diddy has fled the country yes he done left that's what they're saying everything is alleged also you know I haven't seen anything that was verified as far as like the news and certain things like that but you know sometimes people know certain things before the news do and uh tmz actually released this information so you know they were very very credible they used to kind of have a little you know mishaps back in the day but they really are kind of credible right now so they saying that it just landed in the caribbean islands which is crazy you know overall he done messed himself up a little bit more because they're going to look at you like a flight risk if he does go to jail in some type of way you won't be able to get a bun you have to fight this case in the inside you know what i'm saying but money do talk and you can get your way so it is what it is but for him to be able to leave just like that you know this been playing he been knowing what the hell was going to go on and also they knew what the hell was going on as well either they knew he was finna leave today and they stopped him or they seen that he was finna leave so they started raiding everything but anyway go they knew what the hell was going on to a certain extent and um i just feel like that anything that's associated with him should be charged like i said in the other part of this video but you know him being in high places him dealing with high caliber people as far as money wise because you know character and money is two different things but they very high powered and stuff like that they have told him how to maneuver in situations like this and you just seen how russell simmons did it and you know he'd been having money for a long time they said this man got an island they said that uh it's a whole bunch of different things i ain't gonna get into this whole man uh financial background but overall we know this man got paper he been traveling he been doing certain things he probably already got residency in certain places you know what i'm saying and he probably already got money stashed in these spots knowing what was gonna happen at some point in time and he was a step ahead of the game that's just how it go but i'm gonna try to get into the other part of the video and also i'm gonna show y'all this lady right here she really really said what was going to happen to the t months ago i think i don't want to pronounce her name the wrong way but i'm gonna have a name on the screen somewhere so y'all can go over there to a TikTok and stuff like that it'll probably be towards the end of the video so be on the lookout for it but yes she was already on this like and knew what the hell was gonna happen that's crazy boy I think she does readings and stuff. But other than that, I'm a holla child. Update, I just had to throw this out here. But I holla child. Complete and utter takedown of P. Diddy and his three right hand men. Okay? Three. So there's going to be a takedown that comes in with that. And he's going to try to step away. You, He's, they're not done. And here's another thing I'm being shown. His mouth is being sewn up. So when I see his face, the image I get is the mouth is being sewn up. So he is going to be unable to speak for some reason. I can't talk. I cannot speak for myself anymore. This to me sounds like a losing of faculties, a losing of thought, a losing of thinking. I cannot speak, but it's sewed up around his mouth. That's actually how I'm seeing it. They're going to stitch his mouth shut. When I ask her, why his mouth is being sewn up. It's because of his mentors and they don't want it coming out over here, even though some of them are outing themselves. These are old guys connected to old time, old style Motown. And she's showing me that he's being shut up from outing them or from speaking about them for some reason. So there's a hierarchy going on here and there's a total takedown of him he is being sacrificed. So he may think he gets away with stuff. He may think it's cool he does what he does, but now he's the sacrificial lamb. And I do mean that. There's something that comes up with him in March, speaking of the lamb, during the Easter time frame, March, April, right in that time frame. That's why I said lamb. There's something else that's going to come up with him. We are not done. All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. Look, I hope everybody out there is having a good day today. If you're a supporter of mine, I hope that everything did go the way that you wanted to today as well. But other than that, let's get straight into this situation right here. This right here is something that we already knew was coming. And I do want to clear up a lot of stuff, man. Y'all got to stop believing everything that these people put on the internet, bro. It's just basic, simple stuff. Man, when the feds is on the way, you don't know what the hell is going to happen, bro. It's all out of the blue. They know where he is right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how real the feds is. They was waiting on him probably to leave to go ahead and get the evidence that they needed to go ahead and to proceed with the case. You feel me? Don't ever, ever think that these folks are smarter than the feds because they do not play at all. There's some people that don't beat the feds, but that's very rare. 
But basically, long story short, they got his kids detained. They're not arrested. Why would they be arrested if they haven't did anything? Now, if they contributed to any crimes, then possibly so. But other than that, from what we know right now, they're not implemented in anything. Now, Cassie, the, the girl who really started all of this, her and her attorney is speaking out basically just stating that you know they are willing to help with this case in any type of way they are with the justice system and all the other type of stuff now i respect that but i really don't at the same time because they was really after that money if you really cared about the victims and all the other type of stuff you should have just stuck with it you feel me you could have sued and kept on prosecuting at the same time if that's the case but you know it is what it is i'm not here to bash her or nothing like that because she did go through something i'm just saying i don't i don't like i don't i, I just I, I just like i can't even talk how bad i don't like when people do stuff you know what i'm saying like that i just feel like that if you really really like want to get somebody in trouble for what they did to you and things like that don't sell out for the money you know but hey it is what it is i'm not here to argue with you i know somebody gonna have something to say in the comment section just make sure that when you trying to talk your little shit, respond back to me because i'm on your ass but anyway it go he is in trouble the feds are on him and as you know when the feds do come it's a case it ain't nothing that's around it you can't beat them bro you cannot beat the feds you know it it, it done been a couple people that have but like i said that's rare but overall ultimately you know i want to send my condolences out to all the victims you know i want to say that you know i hate that people are going through certain things anybody that was a willing participant in this and they weren't a victim you know i feel like that they should be charged as well if you was adding on to this if you was doing certain things that they saying was true then yes now everything is alleged until he gets actually convicted but you know we we know diddy a freaky fucker now you know but this is some live video footage that was from over there i'm pretty sure some of y'all have seen it and a lot of y'all haven't that's why y'all here right now checking it out or y'all just here to rock with me anyway go let's go ahead and watch this live video footage of them at the house let's go ahead and get into it though following and of course we're trying to gather more and more information about it here on live and now from fox as diddy's home in los angeles has been raided by uh homeland security of course we're learning more information i do want to take you back out here before we get out to our fox 11 team in their coverage because some of this video is very dramatic and we don't know a ton of information right now about this here on live and now from fox of course, breaking news of this uh, as you can see potentially law enforcement officials and other officials just outside of a gate this on a street uh near the beverly hills area of course we're following it very closely on live now from fox and of course we were watching this we didn't know exactly what we were seeing at the time so this is just a little bit ago as they you can see a crowbar to get through this gate initially as well the long guns and a multitude of people as you'll see they'll zoom out a little bit just to see the amount of force they are using to get inside this home and of course the complex in which this home sits is a very expansive one for the american rapper and producer you can see them checking inside oh yeah they are on him for trafficking now somebody said he was on there for drug trafficking see you can't believe everything it's just so many crazy stories happening and i understand that people trying to get paid you know the views pay and stuff like that cool we have some integrity with this stuff man because people really take a lot of stuff that people say for face value that's why i like to bring bona fide facts because i'm not going to be out here you know what i'm saying with a name that's not credible but they saying that it was actually human you know the trafficking i don't know how they're trying to do that how that's going to work out but they got something obviously and it could be a, a, a higher charge just to get you in court and stuff you know how that shit go but ultimately we'll find out what's really really going on once he's arrested because i feel like once the raid come the arrest is afterwards they don't want him to be there for certain reasons he could have took his life i mean it's so many different things that they could have went into this i'm not saying one thing is the reason why they did one thing you feel what i'm saying but uh let's get back into the video a the vehicle we don't know exactly what is involved if diddy's even there we don't know a ton of information about this at all but this was dramatic video coming in of the los angeles home there raided by homeland security some of those images there on the backs of them we also saw uh, other images i want to uh, kind of quickly move to what else we saw as people were led away potentially in custody don't know who these individuals are if they're related to diddy in any way but you can see them a dramatic video from our sky fox team there in los angeles as we continue to cover this and our fox 11 team is there on the ground right now as we speak let's take you out to some of their coverage here as we follow this developing story out of los angeles and then detain those three people inside. We haven't seen any signs of P. Diddy himself. Again, we're hearing that he is possibly in New York, uh, but several people inside the home that uh, will surely be questioned. Uh, very chaotic 
scene when all of this happened. Uh, lots of, um, of neighbors wondering what's going on, of course, and uh, we'll keep you updated. But it's definitely going to be quite a scene here for the remainder of the day. And when you see this number of law enforcement agencies coming together, making this type of raid to such a big, high-profile mansion like this, in a neighborhood like this as well, this is very thought out, methodical, planned out for days. So they base this on a number of information gathering that they've received and evidence or what they're looking for. So clearly this is not something they do lightly. They really go th through the process of making sure that everything is ready before they conduct a raid like this. So yes, this took a lot of planning for all these multiple agencies to come together to actually now conduct a type of raid like this, as you're seeing right now with this street also uh, shut down for the time being. Because Haley, you could see the perimeter has been set up in that neighborhood to keep just the public back from the work that's being done. And there you have the shot from Sky Fox. Again, these heavily armed vehicles right next to all those luxury cars. You already see a Porsche, a G-Wagon, so many luxury cars right there on that property. So it is a very differing uh, juxtaposition there of, of what you're seeing. But look at this mansion here in Holmby Hills where the raid is taking place. Again, we don't know what exactly they're looking for, who they're looking for, but again, this oh, could know. possibly be linked to a sex trafficking investigation involving rapper Sean Combs, the music executive. But as you heard from Haley right there, she believes and she's been hearing that we do not think that Sean Combs is on that property at home right now. He may be in New York as this raid is being conducted. But we do know from our reporting that over the course of the year already, just as early as uh, March this year, there have been several lawsuits filed against Sean Combs. So clearly this could be part of it. We are not sure at this. I love the way that they are wording everything. They doing it properly because we really just don't know. And one thing that I do want to say about this whole situation is that social media really pumped this up. I'm telling y'all. Some of y'all might be thinking, yeah, this and this and that, man. It was social media that really boosted it. It was continuously brought up every day, every day, every day. Even yesterday it was brought up. Today it was brought up. I mean, every single day Diddy has been getting talked about. More things have came out. And when Cassie did that interview, it made other avenues for other people that was associated with him to make money by doing interviews with people. You know what I'm saying? And people are going to reuse those clips over and over and over and over and over because they don't pay these people to come do this interview so they want to recoup on their money you know what i'm saying or their investment and i just feel like that you know she once you do certain things you can't avoid stuff like this it's just inevitable you will get caught you will go to jail you will get in trouble when you so when you are so lascivious and so demonic allegedly Stuff like this does happen, you feel me? And a lot of people are saying it's karma for the stuff with Tupac. It's so many different things that people are saying. I just want to say that I just feel like it's just really cosmic karma. You done did so many different things. It finally done came back to you. Now you got to deal with whatever you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that he is smart. He know that the feds was coming. He got a lawyer retaining and everything. He ready to make the bun if they do give him a bun and stuff like that. But overall, I do feel like that when it's a situation like this, you really, really, really got to think about everything 10 times ahead. You feel me? Like... You got to understand that these people will get your ass once somebody say something. And I feel like that he did do that. Now, he probably going to do some stuff like Russell Simmons did. He going to go ahead and fly out the country, probably get another residency and things like that. We really just don't know how they will work. They're just a speculation of mine. But I do feel like he will try to stand up and fight as well because he has children. He has daughters and stuff. And he don't want them to be seeing him going through certain shit. But we really just don't know. I can't speak for that, man. Everything is just my speculations. It's just thoughts and opinions. And, uh, yeah, you know, good talking points as well. But let's get back into the video. Point. But again, Stu, if you could hear me, what are you seeing right now in terms of uh, your point of view? Well, again, you saw some of those uh, officers right there at that one of the back houses. They did bring a ladder in. They were they they actually went out and brought that ladder into that property. You see it right there, and then they brought another ladder. So there's probably something inside this building right here that they are very curious about, or they were like you said, it was very well planned. They knew they were going to need that ladder to make access. So the, there's something inside this piece of property in the back as one of the back houses that they have been. Very very interested in getting at. We haven't seen them bring anything out. At one
one point there's there I, I can say and when I keep saying that we didn't see them bring anything out the, the, we did see them bring out what looked like a big uh, plastic bin but I don't know if that was something that they had brought in with them as far as possible tools that they needed but that was the only thing that was seemed to be out of the ordinary and that did come out of that back house that we just showed you this is that front area that you were just talking about moments ago we watched as those Bearcats made their way up Maple 10 to make the two actually do this raid and then uh, we watched as officers were getting through one of the pedestrian gates over here on this side of the property once they had breached that well then they opened those gates up right there and those uh, armored vehicles rolled in they were very quick in whatever they needed to do to seize that home uh, that garage door went up very quickly and it doesn't seem to be actually a garage inside of there we've been trying to peek in with the camera every now and then it looks like there's a large table inside there so that might have been an office area or some sort of a staging area and that's where we believe that most of the people that we see in custody came from. At least that's where we watched them exit this building with the officers early on when this raid was just starting. As it stands right now, you've got plenty of these armored uh, uh, law enforcement still walking the property. You see, uh, see them walking in pairs. A lot less of those weapons out, so they are less on the uh, defensive as it would be. And then you can see them just kind of making their way through that property. But I can tell you, every home that's on here, meaning there's three major homes. This one right here, there's a couple of officers still inside there. We know at least one officer is still inside here. So they're still standing guard. So that whatever it is that they're doing, this isn't over by any means and I think this is probably just getting underway they just want to make sure that all these buildings are secure and if there is anybody on this property that they are in custody before they actually start whatever it is that they're looking for but again as you mentioned very well planned very uh, quickly executed and of course a number of officers out here I couldn't even venture to say how many of these armored officers that are on the property you can see them right there and this is just a small group. That was also one of the things, as soon as they made their way into that pedestrian gate, the first thing they did was open up all those doors on that Range Rover and then made their way into this portion of the home. And that's that garage that we've been talking about. That garage door went up very quickly and then of all the people that we see come out of the building, that's where they all came from. They walked them out, put them in this little corner right here, and that's where they've been questioning them ever since. Another ladder, as you were mentioning, a couple of ladders on site as part of this raid. I don't know what they're looking for or where they're trying to reach, but uh, yeah, we did see somebody carrying a ladder. The second one on the property right now, it does seem... And these folks ain't over there just to be over there. They are looking for something specifically. Now, some people might feel like they just over there rambling and not. Nah, they are looking for something specifically. There's something that's been you know, acknowledge that has happened in one of these places and they're verifying that they're going over to check it out and things like that. It's a lot more that goes into this raid as well, but overall they ultimately are looking for something. Maybe it's a certain detail in the house. Maybe it's a certain piece of evidence, you know, something that can verify what they're saying, but at the same time, they still have what they need to prosecute him as well. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back into the video. Like there are three different buildings buildings on this property, the main mansion, and then two guest houses, no, for, for lack, lack of, of better uh, knowledge in terms of what they are exactly used for. But yes, two smaller type houses on the lot as well. And of course, the pool right there in the middle with the grass uh, lawn. So clearly, uh, yeah, this is going to take time. And that is why probably there are so many personnel on site to go through everything and do the search that they are conducting. We, again, don't know a lot of information in terms of what evidence they're trying to collect, who they're looking for, or why they made the raid to begin with. But again, this could possibly be uh, involving the sex trafficking investigation. And uh, again, when we get more details, of course, we'll bring it to you. But uh, this is going to be a while. You see the Department of Homeland Security officers right there in that Bearcat. You know, this could be phase two of what to do now, what they're searching searching for and making sure they have all their information they need when they conduct a raid like this and go through the process of going through that property. It is a big mansion indeed owned by Bad Boy Films and one of Sean Combs's children. So again, uh, this happening just about 
20 minutes ago at this point. We do have video from earlier, if we could show you that. And we have been showing some of that to you in a bigger box. Um, as a, a juxtaposed to the live pictures you're seeing right now, but uh, when they made entry, it was very methodical, and they did have many different law enforcement officials here as a unified operation, and uh, a lot of them making sure that those entry points are secure, and they're able to make entry all together with uh, very, very little use of force. So um, clearly, it is a it is a process whenever you conduct a raid like this. So again, we do. Have have Haley Winslow on the ground as well. She is pushed back to a certain perimeter though, so they're very differing vantage points that we can see. But if we do look at the ground shot there, you see law enforcement on the ground there as well. Haley, uh, anything changing where you are, you're at right now? Just a lot more people showing up on scene. It's been pretty hectic out here. Yeah, this all unfolded about 25 minutes ago, and I apologize that you couldn't hear me clearly earlier. It's very loud, especially we've got, of course, Sky Fox showing you all of this from overhead. But basically, it all started about 25 minutes ago, 30 or so law enforcement vehicles that were from the Department of Homeland Security, LASD, of course, LAPD assisting in this as well. And they pulled up to this home uh, that's registered to Bad Boy Films, part of Bad Boy Entertainment, one of uh, P. Diddy's companies, and uh, the home's also registered to one of his daughters, so they basically all got out of the three Bearcats, they went in, they were obviously armed, they pulled a few people out, as uh, Stu was telling you up in Sky Fox, um, but we're hearing that P. Diddy may not even be here. We, of course, haven't seen him. Uh, we understand he may have flown on a private jet to New York, which I'm sure kind of threw off their plan, although this was very strategically organized, so I would assume by now, uh, whether he is in New York or not, that he is uh, likely in custody if he is involved in this. Um, but again, we are hearing that this is involving P. Diddy and sex trafficking charges. To what extent or with what details, we don't yet know. But of course, we will be on top of this all day. It's been, uh, it was pretty hectic when we all rolled in. We were kind of right behind the line of law enforcement vehicles uh, as this was all unfolding. And uh, we're since obviously behind this crime scene tape here in Holmby Hill. This is off Mapleton, Mapleton Drive here in the 200 block uh, where they are in front of this home uh, that involves P. Diddy and we'll of course bring you the very latest as soon as we get it. It's, uh, it's a very active scene. You can see the officers actually right now. This is uh, law enforcement officers from the Department of Homeland Security coming out right now. They're actually walking down the street in uniform. If you see them right now, uh, Sandra. Uh, I marching do. down the road. Yes, from your vantage point, do you see them holding anything? Are they taking out any information? I can't really tell from where I am. Just the drone. Tony, can you see? Just just brought out their law enforcement drone. It looks like they're putting that away now. Yeah. Okay. They have yeah, Tony, a Tony our tools. photographer, he zoomed in a little bit better, so he's got a little bit better view. But yeah, it looks like it's uh, their drone. Okay, and we are hearing from TMZ at this point that P. Diddy, Sean Combs, home in Miami is being raided as well. Again, TMZ reporting that his home in Miami is reportedly being raided right now as well. So clearly a link in all of this, but as uh, far as more information in terms of what they're looking for, why this raid is being conducted, still more more questions and answers at this point. We're looking for answers uh, and more clarity. So we're hoping to get more of that. Right, man, this end of the video, man. Like I said before, you know, DDS is in some trouble. You know, it just makes us look bad every time we're trying to get a step ahead. You know, shit like this happens, bro. You know, you got to control their freakiness. You got to let that shit go sometime, man. Here. And then, you know, for the other things that they were saying about him, you know, just ain't right. You know, and I feel like a lot of people out there are damaged and scorned due to the fact of what's been happening. You know what I'm saying? Over the past 20, 30 years. So many different stories I've been heard. So many different things that I've been hearing over the years is just crazy to me. And I know at least some have to be true. So overall, everything has been out there in the open as far as what's taking place as of now. I will keep y'all updated if it's some more information, but this all I got for right now. You know, just the real bona fide facts of what's happening at this very minute. Other than that, I will holler at y'all later on another video. If you made it to the end, I appreciate y'all, and we'll talk about it a little bit later. All right.